Hi, this is Ree Morgan for T3.com and it seems days since HTC last launched their Android phone, which was the HTC Magic. But they're doing a quick follow-up with the HTC Hero, but it is a fantastic upgrade. Now, what HTC have done, they've put their touch flow, but much, much more than their touch flow, on top of the Android software. So when you turn the HTC Hero on, it feels much more like the Touch Diamond HD than it would on the Magic. So what does this mean? Well, it's completely transformed the Android phone, and we've been amazed by it here in our briefing today. So if I could just show you, uh, switch the phone on here, and you can see it looks completely different, nothing like the old Android phones. And one of the main things that they've done is they're really keen to say that this phone is going to be yours. You can do anything with it. It's completely customizable. And one of the ways you can do that is with what they're calling the river. You're going to have up to seven menu screens, and each one of these are completely customizable to what you tend to use the phone for. So you can see here, if you use your picture gallery, you can just add it here by going add your HTC widget. And you can see here, you can add anything from your bookmarks to your mail to your messages. You can even add your Twitter account. And it's not just adding an icon, you actually add a live Twitter feed. So if you go to the Twitter page here, that updates every time a new tweet comes into your Twitter account. So it's no more just clicking and you having to go into Twitter itself, it's actually all there live feeding. So there's seven of those and even further, you can have more than one of those rivers. It's very, very customizable. If you go into here, you can see their scenes. So one of those is a scene. And you can choose one, so you can have one of those for a week, one of those for a weekday, one of those for when you go on holiday. You can actually make six of those and then chop and choose when you want to use them, when they're appropriate to the icons that you've put on there. And now it goes even further. So if I take Twitter, for example, you can actually choose how you want to look at Twitter or how you want to look at the content in your Twitter account. If you press this button here, you can see on the bottom here that these are called perspectives. So you can have a look at the tweets, move this along. You can have a look at the direct at replies you've got, move it along again. You can look at the direct messages you've had, and then move it along again. You can look at your favorite trends that you're following on Twitter. And it's not even Twitter. One of the ways they've really used it and really useful is when you look in your contacts. So if I go into a particular person you've got in your people, so if you just click on a person, you can see on the bottom here, the first menu sends, shows you everything you need to know about her, so her mobile, you can send her a message, anything, email. Move along, you can see the messages, the text messages that you and the same person have had, so it'll show you in a complete flow um, the messages you and her had. Then you can go with your email, shows you all the emails you sent and she sent to you as well. And then it even then actually goes direct to Facebook and shows you everything that Angela's done on Facebook. Anytime she's status updates, anything text-based, that'll come up here, everything she's done. And then the best part is pictures. Now, this actually is directly linked to the Facebook server. So any pictures they add or Flickr, anything that they add on there, you can actually look and it'll directly show you the album there on Facebook. So it won't have for you clicking on and then you'll have to log into Facebook and it'll look like a web page. It'll look like an album that you would have on the phone itself. So it's a fantastic piece of software. Things HEC really want you to feel that the phone is just completely customizable and essentially it's like an empty vessel. As soon as you take it out of the box, you can do anything you want with it. They're not pushing any features. If you only use three features, that's fine. You can have those three features in the rivers you decide and if you use more than that then you decide what you do. Moving on to another great feature that they've got on the Hero which is multi-touch. I didn't have it on the Magic but it's not just multi-touch, it's taking it a step further. Um, so if you o open up a web page um, on the browser here, you can see it loads up pretty fast and then with the multi-touch if you just pinch and zoom it completely re formats the page to where you've zoomed so no more do you have to kind of zoom in and then scan across. Um, another thing about the internet is that Hero is the first Android phone to have internet flash player on there so that's another bonus for the Hero and another kick in the teeth for those with Magics and G1s. So that's enough about what the phone can do but with all those things that they've given you you'd think the HTC may have made a sacrifice with the way that the phone looks but no the HTC Hero doesn't disappoint there either. 
it is about slightly bigger than the HTC Magic. The screen is the same size at 3.2 inches. It's got the same hard buttons here, so you've got the call, the end, the menu, and the home button. The search button on the bottom is the same, but now the search can do a lot, lot more. You can search things like Twitter, you can search your maps, you can search your contacts. It's much more like Spotlight like you'd have on the iPhone. It's again got the scroll wheel here. It's got a Teflon coating, so one of the things with the white of the HTC Magic, it could get scratched, it would get a little bit damaged. This is not going to happen with the HTC Hero, we hear from HTC. Also, the camera's been updated, it's now 5 megapixel as compared to the Magic's 3.2. It's a little bit thicker than the HTC Magic and it's got the curved edge again that was also on the magic it's got expandable memory on there so you get up to 32 gig on micro sd it's also one of the things that the magic didn't have was a 3.5 millimeter jack the hero does have that on here and that's the first from all the android phones the g1 or the magic didn't have that and it's one of those things that was a big bugbear with people because you had to find an adapter but that's gone now so you're going to be able to use your cans with this as well all in all, we are mightily impressed with the HTC Hero, and it's actually a breath of fresh air in the mobile world. It's one of the first Android phones to take the software and really make something with it, and really show a phone that is completely customizable and so simple to use, it's frankly untrue. So we could see the HTC Hero end in, spelling the end of icons. It's available in July, no news on networks yet, but we shall see if it's going to go exclusive on one operator. But yes, here is the HTC Hero. Come on, come on, come on.